friends, Mitch again. Want to do a quick video for you guys, uh, show you the latest project I've been working on. Um, as you know, I've been kind of geeking out to these BB guns lately and uh, been searching on, uh, on uh, <clears throat> eBay and uh, trying to find some deals and find ones that I can work on and uh, try to fix up and restore. Um, and I found this one here. And this one is uh, kind of an interesting uh, piece here. You can see it's got a little bit of a whammy there on the, on the, the sheet metal here. And I'll explain that in a couple of minutes. But uh, <clears throat> this one here, and I'll put a little picture up in the picture in a picture here. But uh, it's too dark out here. But so this one is a model 102. What makes this one really interesting is the roll stamp on it. It actually says uh, Daisy, and it has also has the Hedden name, uh, which is, you know, if you know anything about fishing lures and things like that, you recognize that name. But uh, for a period of time in the early to mid 70s, maybe even into the late 60s, I think, uh, as early as the late 60s, Hedden. I believe owned Daisy, or they were somehow in cahoots with each other. Um, but uh, this particular one, according to the registration number, which is the serial number for the most part, uh, this one was made in 1975. Uh, <clears throat> found this one on eBay and uh, got it really, really cheap. Uh, and I'm glad I did because it was. In a lot worse shape than the person made it out to be but uh, when I got it they did show it did show a little dent uh, on the receiver which I thought you know if that's all that was wrong with it no big deal but when I got it it was actually bent uh, lengthways pretty badly uh, and uh, they said it operated but it did not it would cock but Took about three seconds for the plunger to go forward because of the bent uh, sheet metal. So, with a little bit of tweaking and a little bit of uh, love, I was able to get the the frame of it very straight. Uh, it may not be perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Um, and uh, I tore it apart, cleaned it all up. Um, the one thing I was really surprised about: you don't find these little butt stocks here. This top part here where the screw goes in, uh, those are always cracked, always broken. Um, this one is not, so even though it's had a hard life, uh, that part of it is in really good shape, the butt, little butt stock here. So, um, but yeah, so this is a, they call it what would be a youth model. It's got a much shorter uh, barrel than a uh, standard like Red Rider or uh, a lot of the other <clears throat> Daisy type BB guns, but the, uh, the length of pull is really short. It's, it's actually tough for me to get a, a sight picture on, on anything, but it's still fun. Um, after I uh, got done, I, so what I ended up doing was uh, seam down here, and I was able to bend that metal out. Once I, I straightened it out as much as I could first, and I opened up the seam and was able to hammer these dents out that were uh, in the sides of the thing. It's not perfect, but uh, I gave it a little, little bit of rattle can because it was, it's, it's never going to be a showpiece. But I wanted to get, get it up and running and, and just get it so something you could play with. And uh, got some cans across the garage here. And it's. Uh, Hit it, I just didn't knock it over. Let me knock it over here. There she goes. So, got those two cans down over there. So, but uh, anyway, I did do uh, a chronograph test on it, and uh, it's running right around a, a good 230 foot per second average. So, not too bad for a stock spring. And I didn't replace the, the plunger cup yet, but I may do some, some upgrades on it too. Um, Unfortunately, this has got that shorter barrel, so I couldn't do a Model 25 uh, uh, air tube or uh, shot tube uh, upgrade on this one. 
Uh, I've done that to a couple of my other ones and it actually gave me about a 30 or 40 foot per second increase. Um, the reason for that is, I don't have another shot tube around here, but the shot tube that's in these, when they got these, uh, uh, the bottle caps and the uh, BB hole, it's, it's a, a rolled, uh, <clears throat> rolled steel barrel and there's actually a seam there and you lose air every time you shoot it out through that uh, seam and the, the Model 25 uh, shot tubes uh, are a formed, uh, drawn piece of steel so there's no seam in it and uh, so you don't lose that air so you actually gain all that uh, feet per second back that you would lose there so but anyway I don't want to make this one too long but uh, I'll post up a picture here of the uh, uh, screen capture from the chronograph just showing the, uh, the results from uh, From that but uh, it, it's a good little survivor gun now so you know it's it's functional and it doesn't look terrible I mean, it's not perfect uh, but it's an unusual one with that uh, unusual uh, roll stamp it's the only one that I've seen that has got that head and, uh, name stamped on it I'm sure there's other ones out there uh, hopefully <laughs> this is not a one-of-a-kind gun that uh, somebody bent around a tree or whatever but it wasn't quite bent that bad but it was bent bad enough that the plunger would not uh, easily run forward so but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video um, just having a lot of fun playing around with these they're they're easy to work on and, and they're kind of fun to shoot around out here in the garage when uh, you know the snow is blowing outside or whatever it's dark out you can't get out and do any shooting so but uh, Hope you liked the video, and like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.